everybody, so in video 1963 we got as far as this with our generator and to, be my, to my mind it's looking really cool actually. It's got a cap on the bottom, there's the electronics, you wired it up in that video and we stuck this drive cog on it and that's our generator already to go. Now of course it's been so freely, all we got out of it was a couple of watts because the torque requirement on this is so low, what we need to do now is gear it up. So I have designed this in Tinkercad of course and those Tinkercad files are freely available. The description is down in the link and we're going to use a stacking planetary gear system. This is the connection ring. It fits on the generator and then our gears can fit on that. Now originally when we looked at this, this is what we came up with. We integrated the planets with the sun gear so that we could make it stackable, drive them and add that multiplicative factor for these um, planetary gear systems. But I thought that was a bit clumsy. It was just me looking at it to begin with, so I redesigned it into this. This is what you're going to see in those Tinkercad files. And what it is, is the planet carrier is now a ring with three prongs on it. The planets go on there. And then the sun gear is integrated with the fixing plate and that whole thing just glues in. Now this is all plastic because we're wanting to test it. If you want to make this stronger, you'd replace those pinions with metal and maybe put um, bearings around the planets. You'll see that there's a bearing right in the center of the sun there. That's to help it spin freely along an axle. So now we can get a number of these, stack them up, and we get the same stacking gearing system that we had before. The ratio of each one of these is three to one. So I put that on there it's three to one if I put that on there it multiplies it's nine to one if I put another one on it's 27 to one and we have this hole going right the way through the center and that's so we can do that with it the whole stacking planet gear system is held in place by a bolt with a nut on it and the bolt fits in the little hex at the bottom there they all spin independently and freely of each other courtesy of that bearing that we just put in the bearing is a skater bearing 22 mil by 7 mil by uh, 8 mil center the other thing we've got is the actual ring gear itself again these are available in that file now i've done this for three of them and those three just slot in there like that. Now if I turn that, I'll get 27 times the output. And that goes on there like that. There we go. That's our gears. That's it. And I put a stand on it and I put a handle on it. The handle just detaches actually so that we can hand crank it. But of course what we're aiming for, if you remember this, a folding wind turbine. So the folding wind turbine will actually go on there like that. What I need to do is make an adapter between this and the wind turbine blades and then we're ready to rock and roll. So we're nearly there. But I put this gearbox on and it is a 27 to 1 planetary gearbox stacked as we saw. What we're going to do is read the voltage out of it by me hand cranking it and we'll see what we get out of it. Now I have connected it up in series at the back here and you can see the series connection. Again it's like this because I'm still haven't decided how I'm going to connect this but if we crank this handle we should definitely get some kind of voltage reading out of this. Let's have a go and see. out of that. I'm a bit scared about taking it any higher because you know I'm a bit scared I'm going to burn the wires out but there you go 104 volts out of cranking it by hand so maybe maybe I could put another stage on there but I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not because that's actually pretty high. As I say, the last thing to do with that now is make the adapter for this so that we can have this collapsible. The whole aim of this incidentally was portable wind turbines because I was looking at portable wind turbines and I don't want to pick out one particularly but <laughs> there is one I'm thinking of $400 $400 and it's supposed to produce 40 watts actually if you look at the figures on an average wind speed of about 4 meters per second actually 3.5 meters per second it'll produce 800 milliwatts so <laughs> we are certainly getting more out of it than that and we certainly didn't spend anywhere near $400. The whole thing weighs about one and a half kilos, which is the same weight as the portable turbine that I'm aiming to beat. So I'm feeling pretty good about that. Anyway, that's that bit done. 
Just this last little bit to do. We'll get that done. We'll give it a test and we'll take some real power readings out of that. The voltage is just an indication of how it's doing. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. 